Greetings and welcome to another video. It is Saturday 13th of July 2019 and we begin today's video at Church Road which goes in that direction and as you can see takes you into Malins Lee but we're not going to go that way Instead, we're going to go this way. We're just going to come over here. And I'll show you where we're going in a moment. Now on roundabouts like that, they do fascinate me because just imagine all the insect life and plant life that live in those little islands perfectly safe and secure from human interruption and interference It's all pretty cool So I'm just going to go over here Right, we're going to be cycling along this road here which is Dorley Green Way in this direction now basically we'll be we are going along the cycle path alongside the main road uh, there isn't very much of interest to it but it's still an enjoyable cycle ride in my opinion and it will lead us to our eventual destination so let's go on now because the path we'll be cycling on is pretty much a cycle path a designated cycle path from start to finish we'll be on the path all the way along and in my opinion if you're cycling anywhere then if the pavement you're on is a designated cycle it's a designated cycle path like the one we're using right now then you should always cycle on the path not on the road however if the path in question is just a normal standard pedestrian footway then definitely cycle on the road for as long as it's safe and secure to do so only if you're on the road and you don't feel safe and secure doing so should you uh, hop on the pavement and even then keep it as brief as possible but there we are that's my opinion about that but let's move on to our destination the route we're doing at the moment takes you between Dorley and Mallins Lee all the way down to Ketley and Oaken Gates and I never really started using this cycle route that often I mean I'd sometimes use it well, at least this section here when traveling between Wellington and Dorley and back but more recently I've been using it to travel to work and back home again because it's actually a pretty decent cycleway quick, efficient and it's basically a massive shortcut so yeah Another thing I like about this route is when travelling downhill uh, the speed of it is pretty nice, pretty fun and also on this section here if we look to our right this overgrown grass it may not look like much but it's home to dozens and dozens of 
insect life, plant life, and if you're ever interested in insects and their lives and behaviours, then stuff like this, watch out for, because it's an ideal habitat to watch out for them. Let's carry on. We're now approaching Old Park Roundabout and here, from here you can get to Ironbridge along the A5223 You can get to Lawley along the B5072 You can get to Dorley Bank You can get to Telford Town Centre along the B5072 You can also head toward the rock as well. But we're going to toward Oaken Gates along the B4373. Okay, as you can see, we're now on the National Cycle Network, Route 81. And if we go left, we go to Newdale, which is half a mile away. Lawley, which is, which is one and a quarter miles away. And it's, as, you, as the sign says, over there. But we're not going that way. Instead, we're going toward Ketley Bank which is a mile away, Oaken Gates a mile and three quarters away and Trench three miles away which is over here and the name of this road is Old Park Way which gets me to the reason why I'm making this particular video uh, I know some viewers enjoy cycling around Telford and other areas and I don't know how many of you might know this particular cycle route. Chances are most of you already do. It's a question of how often you use it. But either way, in my opinion, whether you know about it or not, it's a fun cycle route. It's an enjoyable way to get around. And it's just a fun place to show off. So there we are. Let's crack on. One thing I really like about this particular cycle path is how smooth the pavement is. And basically, if I can build up enough momentum and enough speed at the start of the path, 
then I don't need to pedal at all. I can just le let gravity do the work and just speed down here quite quickly. And I just love it when it happens like that, just speeding down, enjoying gravity, the speed of it all, the sheer smoothness of the pavement. In my opinion, it's a delight. It's actually fun coming down this way. Okay, I don't know the name of this roundabout ahead of us, but as you can see, if we were to take the left exit, we would be heading toward the rock. If we were taking the right exit, we'd be going to Old Park. But no, we're going straight on toward Oakengate. So yes. A few years ago I was this way and I did explore Old Park, um, maybe I'll do it again in the next few weeks or months and make a video about it, but uh, we'll soon see how that turns out. Right, as you can see the name of this road is Mossy Green Way along the B4373. which is this way. Now this is where the road gets a bit more fun as it's a bit more... well, obviously it's still going to be downhill but the uh, gradient of the hill gets a tad steeper so it gets more fun this way. Now if you can look up the, uh, if you can see the road right in front of us, uh, across the way there, that's Shepherd's Lane, which takes you into Red Lake. We're not going to go that way today, but I will make plans to make another video about that on another occasion. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. But this road here, this is Bankway. And as you can see, this way takes you into Ketley Bank. 
Uh, again, we're not going to go this way today. Uh, we're going to go into Ketley Bank another day and explore it another time. In the meantime, we're going to continue on our original course. As I said already, this is one of the more fun cycle routes. Yeah, you've got to deal with noisy traffic, but I'm used to that. I don't mind dealing with traffic. At least I'm not on the actual road itself, so perfectly safe and sound on um, the cycle path. So the, uh, round, so the bike route we've just done brings us here to Beverly Roundabout where as you can see you can get to Open Gates, Whitchurch, Telford Town Centre Over there is a petrol station and Londis shop Car dealership And if you come over here for a moment right, This road is the Hollyhead Road which takes you that way and eventually takes you into uh, Ketley and then onwards to Wellington and everywhere from there so on that note I'm going to end this video here because uh, it's gone on long enough a bit longer than I expected but uh, thank you for watching uh, I appreciate everyone who watches these videos and I hope you all have a really good Saturday today and a great weekend. See you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.